How can I make people contribute to charity without changing the normal daily routine? We're aiming to be the world's most ethical club in three awesome ways. Uh, one way we employ vulnerable staff, so ex-offenders, uh, homeless, people like that. Um, we also donate money to local charities, so we sponsor one literally up the road from us, Hackney Food Bank. We also use ethical suppliers, but for absolutely everything. So just on our drink list alone, we have over 40 different charities just on that. Um, but it's not just drinks, it's yeah, for you know, toilet paper, soap in the toilets, uh, straws, absolutely everything on you know, my counters as well. It's such a fun way as well to contribute, and it genuinely does make a difference. When I first came, it was, it was different, it was diverse, it was something that stood out, it weren't like a... I would love it if people like Weber Spoons and Green Keep, all those big chains went like that and changed their model to mine, because they would help so many people overnight instantly. That's what I want. So. I think in the bigger picture, it, a lot of people do need to change. Um, if that's this company franchising, if it's all the people catching on and thinking, oh, that's a very nice idea. It was that like a frustration. I was like, so why aren't, like, why aren't these corporates, why aren't these business more ethical? Like, is it possible? And I managed to find that it is, so why aren't they doing it? I want to hopefully inspire other businesses to either do the same or even just make one change, that's huge. And like I said, it, I would love it if from like Weatherspoons and all those other big pub companies they like change their model to mine, they would help so many people. Like they would literally raise billions of pounds every year for good causes. It's as simple as that. I, I would love that. So, so this week we're sponsoring the LGBTQ2 uh, community, the homeless community within that uh, uh, sector. So basically a charity called ACT, and they hope those people there. Sometimes basically if people come out and open and say they're gay to their family, then they get kicked out of the house and become homeless. So these guys help them. So we yeah, I, I feel so, because AKT is quite a close charity to, to me, obviously the homosexual myself. So because it was Pride last week, uh, we decided to help them this week, and that's why I'm just like this, we're doing a drag brunch to help them. We've raised a lot, a lot of money from already and raised awareness, it's just a cool thing. Like, it was only recently I was attacked in London about a week ago. Um, I was doing a homophobic attack, and uh, someone pushed me down this place. I've got marks anyway, you're not me. I've got, I've got scars and marks all over my head, all over my legs. So the AKT, it, it just made me feel better than having that push forward to have other people be helped. I cannot wait to just give like you know a check of X amount and because you can physically see it will make a difference because these charities are not huge. Something like even like 500 pounds will make a huge difference. If I could you know give them thousands or whatever, that just that that's what the pub's about. That like, that's what I want to do and that's what we do with the charities of the week as well. That's what we do. Like we these guys are not huge charities, but they just you know a bit of exposure, a bit of raise some money from even that little bit will make a massive difference. Like, it is a really positive business. Uh, it's good people who run it. Absolutely, it's absolutely. Like, my staff have a massive sense of pride, they love it, they, they love going to customers, they're sort of showing off kind of thing, like they work here, they, they're really proud of working here, they love it. They just want to help out as much as they can, so it's, it's, just, it's just cool man, that, to see that everyone just wants to spread the love really, so it's awesome. If you make one change, then that's huge to me, that's basically the whole point of this, that's what I want to do.